wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today we are going to be unboxing some magical artifacts. That is right. We have just got a wizarding trunk in the owl mail. This video is in fact sponsored by the wizarding trunk just to let you guys know. So if you are watching this and you're like, you know what, I would like to get my hands on one of those for myself as a little treat, then don't worry because I got you covered with a discount code which is magical family. You can use this code and it will get you money off your first subscription. I'm really excited. This box looks really cool. We're going to take a closer look at that in just a moment. But hey, if you are brand new here, firstly, hello, welcome, come on in. Don't forget that you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird magical online family. But let's go because we've got some magical artifacts to take a closer look at. Okay then, let's take a closer look at this box then. So first things first, we have got some very magical portraits. These are sleeping wizarding portraits by the look of it. I love the ornate frames. I just love this box artwork. I think it's really cool. And we've got sleepy wizards and witches on all corners of this box, which is very fun to look at. Very cool indeed. There's even even more on the bottom of it but there we have it let's dive straight on in because I'm so excited to open this Ooh, okay let's see what magic is inside for us so this is your cheeky sneak peek okay okay I'm gonna put this to one side and we are gonna go through the items I am gonna take a wild grab of course I've gone for the biggest item in the box thus far there is something in this brown box right here. Let's see what is inside. Polystyrene is usually a good sign. Ooh. Oh. Excuse me, is that what I think it is? If so, that's a really sad item to begin with. <laughs> if I'm correct, this looks like it's meant to be inspired by the veil which we can find in places such as the ministry of magic the department of mysteries this actually looks like it's silver foiled and it does look quite magical indeed we've even got the kind of stone around it that would look really cool on a shelf what do you guys think of this it's even got that shiny kind of veil magic on both sides a pretty cool piece let's move on to see what else is inside this box um this is intriguing me it looks really cool it maybe looks like a jewelry box of some kind potentially but either way it looks nice it says the wizarding trunk on here i have no idea what's inside here oh oh that's cool let me take this out so that you can see it a little bit better this is a sword which does look familiar to those that are in godric gryffindor's house but yes this looks like a silver chain necklace i'm gonna see how long it is so the length of this chain is actually pretty decent it's definitely the length of necklace that i personally like wearing so this is definitely going into my jewelry collection this is a closer look at this sword with a little red gem in the handle i do like that i love that it came in a little box i think that's definitely a special item to get in a box like this we don't see too many wearable jewelry items at least not from my memory but yeah i really do like that let's move on next up we have got something in bubble wrap and this is probably the potion because every one of these boxes we do seem to get a potion this set or an ingredient i stand corrected this is oh my god natural vampire repellent and it is vervain does anyone else watch the vampire diaries because this is 100 percent a reach for the vampire diaries oh my god the luster in here the color of it as well I'm actually obsessed. Fandoms are colliding. This is absolutely gonna make it onto my potion shelf. I cannot wait to display this, but this has to be a nod to the Vampire Diaries. I do not believe that it could be anything else, but it's definitely an ingredient um, that we could use in potions class. I love that they've even got like the flower on the label. The label is pretty nice, actually. I quite like that. I love the purple wax seal, but mostly I love the kind of bright, vibrant, luster purple. And there is actually something in there that looks like it could be 
the vein. So don't be touching this if you're a vampire. If you've never seen The Vampire Diaries, this is like a staple in the show. It's very, very cool. I'm mildly, majorly fangirling aside. I think that's so cool. Can't wait to read the cheat sheet about this because this is definitely more Vampire Diaries than it is the magical wizardy world that we all know and love. But yeah, what do you guys think? I am a fan. Right, we're going to do another mist. Ooh, ooh, this is soft. <gasps> Why is this so soft? This is a velvet pouch. It's navy. I love that it has kind of like the wizarding trunk etched into the velvet pouch. That's so lovely. This feels really luxurious. Let's see what is inside. I thought it might be a key, but it's definitely not a key. Um, it's a comb. Okay, let me just take this out. This is quite heavy. This has clearly been inspired by the Ravenclaw Lost Diadem. It's definitely giving those vibes. But yeah, this is a comb and I'm not sure if this is like, I mean, it does work. I was gonna say, I'm not sure if it's meant to be used or not, or if it's just a display piece, but it's really nice. It's made out of metal. There's loads of little gems in there, which are very, very pretty to see indeed. But yeah, a comb. I didn't think I'd be getting a comb in one of these boxes, but it does seem to work and it's not really pulling my hair. I was wondering if it would feel a little bit too rough, but I don't think it feels too bad. So there we have it, a little, nod to our fellow Ravenclaws. Let's pop that back into the bag and move on to the next item. What is this? It feels squishy! I think this might be a throw. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, something to learn about me is I love magical blankets. I have got two that live inside of my car as my car blanket. Sometimes if I'm a passenger in my own car, I will have a little blanket on, don't let my knees get cold. Sometimes when I'm driving my car, I don't like my legs getting cold, so I will drive with the blanket on. And I already know that this is going to live in my car. If you don't have car blankets, what are you doing? Maybe you live somewhere hot, in which case, fine. But winter, I really recommend car blankets, right? Let's see what this is then, because this is giving some very mystical, magical vibes. It's almost giving invisibility cloak kind of feelings. Um, oh, I love the design of this. And it's a really nice size as well. I love this. Oh, I am obsessed. This is hands down my favorite thing in this box. I already know it is. I love blankets. I love being cozy. I love magical designs. This couldn't have been a more me item if it tried. I love it. Um, this is so nice. I really, really love this. I hope it shows up well on the camera. It definitely needs a little bit of a steam because it's got creases, but oh, that's just, I love it. It looks kind of vintage and aged, but very magical. Oh, yes. This is a hit for me. <laughs> I really do like this item. I like it and I like it a lot. Okay, let's see what other magical goodies are in here. Let's have a look at the pin. We have double clasps. Weirdly, they stopped using these clasps for a while, I think, and now they've brought them back and I'm still very confused what the shape's meant to be. Wizarding trunk, please let me know what this is meant to be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like the Loch Ness Monster. Anyway, let's turn this on over. This is the pin. They're still going with their Wizarding Portrait pin series. This is very nice. It looks like he could be a headmaster with a very nice velvet purple robe, having a kip, a little bit of a sleep. It's a really nice size. They definitely can be a little bit bigger in these. They're kind of all different shapes. This would look really cool on a pin board having all of the portraits together. There we have it. They're beautifully made. I must say like they look really high quality, the pins that they are coming out with at the moment. I am enjoying it. I love the shine on there. I love the artwork itself in there. I love the ornate frames. 
very nice pin. Next up in here, we have got an item which I already know that you guys know what is going to be inside here because I already know what's going to be inside here. So let's unravel this mystery package and see what is inside. It's definitely feeling like a certain, ooh, yes, there we have it. It is a certain stone. This is their take on the philosophers or sorcerers, depending where you're from, stone. And this is actually a really pretty one. It does have a base so that you can, you can stand it up and it's not gonna roll around. That does look pretty cool. I think that is actually gonna end up on my philosopher's stone shelf or my first year shelf. It's just above these books, but yes, that's really cool. It's very shiny. It's a really nice resin color. I love all the angular shapes on there. Nicely packaged, pretty cool. Oh, I think we have a second pin. We are being treated. Let's open this on up then. I love these backing cards. We've got normal clasps on this. So it's quite a big backing card. Let's turn this around. Ooh, that's cool. It says Curse Breaker. I'm not going to lie. That reminds me of a book series that I'm reading right now, which is called A Court of Thorn and Roses. I've, I'm on the third book and there's a chapter called Curse Breaker. So my brain went straight there, but we have a G in the middle here. We have a little key. This looks like it should be some sort of badge um to work somewhere it's kind of giving magical bank vibes maybe i'm not sure i love that are these meant to be like little witchy hats i need to read about this because i'm not sure what it's meant to be but it is a very pretty golden and quite ornate key pin which is quite cool. And again, love this marbling effect of the backing card, but pretty cool. Okay, so we've got two pins. And of course, we are going to have a little book cover. They are still continuing their book cover series. So let's see what is on this one and which book it fits. I think they're still going with the UK versions at the moment. Firstly, beautiful marbling, very nice. Ooh, the Book of Magical Admittance. Oh, that foiling. Oh, I love the color of this one, that kind of burnt leathery brown, like an aged vintage book. That's gorgeous. I love the little feather quill there as well. And all the runes on the back. This one would definitely look beautiful on a shelf. I feel like I need to swap some of my covers out, but that's so nice. This might be one of my favorite book covers that we have seen in quite a while in these books. Boxes. But yeah, so this should wrap around. Does that mean six? I'm terrible at Roman numerals. I have a feeling this one might fit the Half Blood Prince UK edition of Harry Potter. So there we have it. That is the book cover in this box. And we have one more physical item, and then I think we have one paper item. So I'm actually gonna do the paper item next, which is one of their pages from the Magical Creatures A to Z. We have got um, something called a Digin, but also known as Genies, so that's cool. We've got D, and then over here we have Dragon. They've got the cutout pages. These are really cool. I'm definitely gonna have the whole collection to these soon, which I'm very excited about. And last, but certainly not least, we have got a mystery brown, brown, a mystery brown box. I don't know why my brain struggled to say that, but let's have a look. Oh, it's kind of a bronzy color. Oh, this is pretty, oh my God, it's a cute little mirror. This is so sweet. Oh, that's so cute. So this is the back. This can actually stand up like so on anywhere you choose to have it, but this is very cute. This would look cute on like an office desk, especially if you just wanna check yourself in the mirror at any point. I don't know, sometimes girl wants to look at herself. <laughs> so yes, this is a mirror. Um, we have got some kind of, it kind of looks like serpents, but I'm not sure they are serpents. But either way, 
it's quite uniquely designed, very pretty. I like the three points on there. It's clearly been inspired by the mirror Vera said, which is pretty cool. But yeah, that is a very cute mirror, which I think would look absolutely adorable on any desk. It is, a, as you can see, you're seeing all of my lights and cameras and stuff in the reflection. Wave to yourself, hello. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that is an actual mirror and it's like glass mirror. It's not one of those flimsy kind of plastic ones which kind of warp your face. This is a proper mirror, which is there. Wow. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? <laughs> Why am I doing this? Anyway, cute little desk mirror, which is absolutely adorable. Let's take a look at the cheat sheet and discuss all of the items that we have had in this month's Allery Crate. In fact, before we do the cheat sheet, I'm going to show you everything that was inside today's box. So this is the full haul from everything from the Magical Artifacts box from the Wizarding Shrug this month. Let's take a look then. So number one was the Magical Book of Admittance, which was the book cover. This book fits the sixth house edition book oh okay they're doing the house edition i don't have all those house edition books actually but good to know which one it fits number two was the stone and it says the philosopher's stone is a mythical alchemical substance that is known to be able to turn metals into gold and produce the elixir of life so i better put this somewhere safe number three is the hair comb and it says it is rumored that those who comb their hair with this gradually gain increased intelligence so you know i am feeling a little smarter than i did earlier number four is the shrunken sword necklace and it says wear this necklace in case you find yourself in need of a way to dispatch dangerous magical objects so yeah another one that i need to keep pretty safe number five was the portrait pin it says whilst the person depicted in this portrait isn't an artifact himself he was a collector of many different magical artifacts, that is true. Number six, we had the mirror, and it says those that gaze into this mirror see themselves as they desire to be. We suspect that you will simply see yourself reflected in the mirror because we think you are perfect just as you are. Thank you, wizarding trunk. That's very kind. Number seven was the creature page. And it says this creature page teaches you about two creatures that are known to protect treasure and magical artifacts. Turn it over. We have got the curse breaker pin. It says there is a new bank opening in the alley and they have an opening for an elite witch or wizard that is capable of breaking the strongest of curses, unlocking vast amounts of gold and magical artifacts. Do you have what it takes to join this group of elite wizards and witches? Okay, so this is a brand new wizarding bank. Then we had number nine, which is Vervain, and it says this magical plant has been used for centuries to repel vampires. This has herb is very rare to find except in a small town in Virginia where the locals continue to grow it. That is such a Vampire Diaries reference. I'm ready to go back to Mystic Falls. Number 10 is the door and it says this door is thought to be a portal between the living and the dead. However, we caution stepping through this portal because no one that has ventured through it has returned makes me sad every time I think of that scene. Number 11 is the disappearing blanket. Oh my god, I nearly forgot to put the blanket in the um, the hall at the end. How could I forget the best item in this box? It says, if you're looking to disappear for a bit while reading a book or watching a movie, we recommend covering up with this blanket to remain undisturbed. Well, I gotta say, let's talk about favourite, shall we? This is 100% my favorite thing that has come from this box this month. I think it's a very, it's a very personal love. I just really, really like this kind of design that you can find on like the invisibility cloak and magical kind of blankets and all sorts of robes and mystical things. Love it. 100% adore this blanket. Other favorites of mine, I really love the Vervain. I like that it can kind of cross between fandoms because this is definitely something that you would find in 
let's say, a potion master's stockroom. Really liked the necklace as well, thought that was pretty cool. Overall, a really interesting box, but as per usual, it is not just about my opinions, it is about your opinions as well. What was your favorite and least favorite item out of this crate? Leave a comment down below letting me know. I will be sure to reply to some of those. And also, if you got this far in my video, firstly, thank you very much. Don't forget, if you click the like button, that helps me and my channel out a lot. But for now, I am gonna go get cozy in my new blanket because it's absolutely adorable i may not look adorable right now but okay yeah i do <laughs> right i'm gonna go thanks for watching guys i will see you in my next video bye <laughs> it's so fluffy i'm gonna die so soft welcome to the family little blanket